So right here is the next body armor. There it is. The, the, the other body armor is like, take a right over there and it's right by that wall. It's like down way over there. What you're not seeing is some guards in here, they'll have like um, grenade launchers. So you better kind of watch out. Occasionally. Oh hey, look at that. What's this? It's like KF7s though. Hey, it looks like they all have KF7s this time rather than uh, rockets. The other guys have the rockets. Okay. So here's the other body armor. Here's the last one. And then we just... There we go. There's the exit. And then we're done. Oh, for Wolf. Well, with this now. Now Depot has like I I I could have swore there was twelve body armors. I've only counted eleven, but this level's got like I think it's five. I think it's six holes and five halves. You don't even need any of them. You can just like literally. Okay, this is how this is how easy this level is. Okay, well at least on agent mode, anyways. Okay, so you you go through the gate, take a right, take a left, go through this abandoned building. You open up that door and you go through that train and there you go. You beat it. Levels this level's literally so short, it's it's funny. It really is. There's another whole body armor. Just go in here. And there you go. You just beat it. Alright, so this level actually has a hidden odd level a hidden gun on agent mode. Just gotta kill these guys. Again, this is the last level that has no body armors. Up until this point, every other level after this will have at least one body armor. Which is nice. So this gun right here, you want this gun. This is an RCP90. This thing is awesome. Just shoots everything, man. Shoots everything dead. Kill everybody with this gun. Okay, so the way this this works is there's going to be some guards that will come out only after you pass through some certain rooms, and it's funny because like sometimes you can kill these guards just by shooting in the wall, and they won't, and sometimes they just come out anyways. So it's random, but you'll still kill them. You just got to know where they come out. So. That's crazy. It's like, I don't know what's worse. Early call or marrying a paint can? Or killing a bunch of guards with an overpowered gun? Oh no! The fact that James Bond reloads all his guns in the same animation. At the same time. Now yeah, these guys all have what is known as. Well, some of them have DK5, D5Ks. Um, and then you have Z ZMGs, which are pretty, I would say, good round. Those guns are really hard. Now, if you time the shot right, you gotta kill Amavar. You kill, uh, you didn't even kill Alec. <laughs> and he still has the balls to tell me that I only have 20 seconds, less than a minute before the bomb goes off. So he can never congratulate me that I am a good shot, though. Oh no, Alec. I didn't shoot you dead. I should get a minute. I should have get a gold medal for shooting Alec. And then there's three guards right over here, by the way. Just kill them. I mean, you don't have to, but on double agent mode, there's a good chance that they could hit you once or twice. And it's not always accurate, but, you know. So, yeah, anyways, now we just... We completed the level, which is nice. Okay, so now we go to jungle. This level is, if you remember, this is outside Janice's base out in Cuba. And now we just keep playing this game until. Okay, so start going to the left. You're gonna find guards in here. So it's kind of it kind of sucks because like like they'll drop their guns, but I don't know where the guns land though. So yeah. We got security drones up here, sort of. Just kind of get them to come to you. 
And it's not really too bad. It's actually really easy to beat this. Just gotta... There's three body armors on this level. Two holes and one half. Let's pick this up. There we go. Natalia is actually really useful on this level. But on the next level she's not. She only, she's got a magnum but she can never pick it up and she never uses it. Her logic is that if you can't have it, nobody can. I hate about those drones that can shoot through walls and stupid nonsense like that. Guards up here. Those guards, those guards. And just uh, keep. See, all you gotta do to beat this level is just make sure that, you know, you just kill the guards before they kill you. I mean, that makes sense, you know. And if you shoot their gun, it doesn't do any damage. Like, if you play games like Perfect Dark, um, the game will just knock the gun out of their hands. And that makes more sense, but it doesn't kill them either. So here's Xena. Here's another powerful boss that the game gives a, butt a buttload of HP to. So in order to kill Xena, just shoot her like this. And then she dies. Oh no, Xena, what are you doing? You didn't cross the holy bridge. <laughs> Literally, there's holes in it. <laughs> Looks like. Okay. So, now I just gotta... Have fun with my life. Alright. So, there's this. There's a couple guards on your side here. I'm getting RCP-90 in a grenade launch, which is nice. Enemies get infinite ammo, which sucks, but what are you gonna do, right? Just kill him, kill him. Now, there's gonna be some guards that decide to come this way, I'm sure. But we're not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna run up here, shoot this gun, this Gatlin gun, and security drone. Don't worry about the ammo, don't. Just run past it on agent mode. And just keep going. Surprise that went well. I usually get hit once going through there like that. But yeah, that's how you beat that level. Gotta make sure you blew up everything though. Except for the ammo dump. Not yet. Alright, so now all we gotta do. Okay, so this is control. Everybody hates this level. And for good reason too. Okay, so there's three guards, four guards. They drop their guns, that means that they're dead, so. That's how it works in Goldeneye. So now Natalia, once they stop spawning, like once they immediately completely disappear out of this room, Natalia will congratulate you. She'll be like, oh, you were wonderful, James. And be like, yeah, I know. What about you? You got infinite ammo and you don't even use that gun. I want that gun. Give it to me, Natalia. Get that gun to me. I guess I can't have it. It's like, you know what, when we're done with this, I'm going to go use the cheat codes. Because I want my Magnum. <laughs> yeah. Gotta watch out for this crap, because this level, or at least this part anyways, I hate this part more than pretty much the rest of the game. They will throw grenades, and they will stand by these stupid crates, and they will always shoot through this ball. I mean, literally, you could literally die right there. Just because the way that setup is, it's stupid. But, you know, there's two full body armors on here. And it's not a big deal, because I'm still going to beat this level, but it's not going to stop. Me. So, you know, not, not too bad, not nothing too bad. Just uh, do this, what I'm about to show you, though. Just throw this grenade right here. Okay. Just pull out a gun. It's going to miss. Right there. And you can blow up all these uh, these ammo crates or these uh, these mainframes that are worth millions and millions of dollars and have all this beautiful information. It's like, hey, Alec, can you watch this for now? There goes your billion-dollar industry up in flames. Yeah. Okay. So the first body armor actually is up here. A Boris actually leads you right to it. So. I'm just going to run up here, there it is right there, and then uh, we just run back downstairs.
And then what we do back downstairs is, uh, okay, I, I, I recommend blowing up all the mainframes before you get Natalia because this next part just kind of